Hey everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today we're going to be working out of the Natasha Denona Love Palette. Now I purchased the Love Palette and um, the Love Glow Palette, which is the cheek palette. I love it, look at this. It's so pretty. Um, and I purchased this and it looks like this. And I did use the blush, and I put that as a little, just a tad, as the topper of the blush. And then I used this as the highlight on my face. Um, because I usually do my face before I do, you know, because I usually show the eyeshadow, how it works. However, this did work nice. Um, same as her other one. If you got the Bloom palette, it's pretty much the same. Um, however, the eyeshadow palette is what we will be working out of today, which looks like this. And I can't wait. Like, I really can't. I know I'm late to the game as far as, like, people reviewing it and stuff. But, I mean, you have to. I mean, it's, it's just so pretty, right? Um, so, again, I'm not a makeup artist makeup guru no makeup skills at all keep it in mind okay because I know that I suck I'm aware of it trust me um, but it's not about that it's about a consumer purchasing a product and does it work you know um, because I don't have makeup ability or makeup skills it goes to show that if I can create something and make it look halfway decent then the product must be good. Um, at least that's my theory on it. Because to me, a makeup artist can make any palette look good. It may take them hours, but, you know, they make it look good. And also, you get to see it step by step. I don't edit. I don't filter. I, I'm not doing any of that. I am showing you how, how it works. Um, that way you see it for yourself, you know that I'm not lying, and then you can decide whether the palette will work for you as far as the color, colors, as far as, you know, the price, and as far as, you know, does it work? You know, you get to judge that. Now, again, I don't choose the best of colors, you know, to make my looks, but I do try. So... Be kind, is all I ask. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I really wish, oops, that I knew what most people use. That way I could use the same tools because I feel like then you would have a better idea if you would want the palette. But I've really been enjoying um, the Sigma brushes. I think they're fantastic brushes. Um, I just recently purchased some of them and like I'm just keep on purchasing them So I, I do really feel like they are good brushes not to say there's not other brushes out there that are good But I really do like these um, so I'm gonna go ahead and Find some brushes here that I can work with real quick Ooh, I don't want to drop the palette. I'm gonna go ahead and just lay down um, a shadow. Let's see. We have this one here. Alright, I already primed my eyes with the... What did I use? P. Louise. Rumor 2. I'm going to go ahead and use the color uh, first, right here. And I'm just going to lay that down lightly over my eye. Just sort of dust it over it. Just so that I have something over the primer. I feel like the shadows, and I do this with everything, just glide better if I do it this way. But you do it however you want. Let 
I'm having to hunt today. I'm so tired. I'm not having the best today either. How about you all? It's rainy. It's gloomy. Like, I'm just not having the best of the days, right? Right. All right. The first color I'm going to start with, I think, is going to be this uh, intense color here. And I'm just going to put it in my crease. And again, I got hooded eyes, so I kind of have to go right above my crease. I swear as I get older, though, they get more and more hooded. I need a facelift. Actually, a lot of it has to do with the fact also that I weighed 350 pounds at one point. And though the, you lose weight, the skin unfortunately stays behind. everything's just so gloomy you know even I mean I try to stay you know upbeat and positive but it can really bring you down of course there's other things going on too but don't we all have something wrong though Let me get a Oh, this is a E thirty eight by Sigma, sorry. I guess I should say the brushes I'm using, huh? I mean, but you can see how easy that was to apply. And again, it may not look the best as far as, like, me applying it, but it's there. It's not patchy. It was easy to work with, you know. And uh, the first brush I used was an E48, which I'm going to use that same brush. And I'm going to go into Soul. And I'm going to put that actually right in my crease. Just a little bit of added color. It's just a tad darker. And my mystery box is from Jeffree Star. It's supposed to be delivered today. So that does make me a little bit peppy there. Kind of picks me up even though it's raining. Because I can't wait till I get them. I have tried so hard to not watch. I got the medium sized one and the small one. The big one was already sold out. So I tried not to watch any reviews on the medium and small. Just the big one because I'm curious on what was in it. Um, but it was, you know, sold out prior to me even trying to get it, you know. But, uh, 
so far so good on not watching anything and it's supposed to come today so I am really excited to see what was in it. I think the one was 100 and the other one was 60 maybe, something like that. So I am curious on that part of it to see what um, I got. And I'm just going back in with that first color just to, you know, make sure it's there. Like I said, I don't want to take away from any color. I just want to make sure everything is there where it's supposed to be. Not that I know where it's supposed to be, mind you, by no means. But so far, so good. And the colors are very pretty, actually. I kind of like them. So far. But we'll continue. We'll see. So I guess the next color I'm going to use will be let's use heart. No, heartbeat. Which is this burgundy color up here. And let's put that in the inner corner. Or outer corner, I'm sorry. I'm losing my mind, I swear. Yeah, let's put it in the inner corner. And the brush I'm using is at E42. Pretty burgundy. I do know from previous palettes I go very easy in because or I don't. Look at that. Because they are pigmented and I'm not the best with shadows. Well I'm not the best with anything, but that's beside the point, you know. Uh, but I don't want it to be, you know, like crazy either, you know. And I just would rather build and then but there's not any fallout really on my face so far. Of course that we're in mats. And I'm just building up that color. Slowly. <clears throat> very, very slowly. That's the other thing, like when you're building them up, it's hard to judge, like, is the color the same on both eyes? <laughs> and then I have astigmatism, which I wear glasses. I don't, I'm not a big contact person. And I see things a little bit off when I'm not got my glasses on. So I always think like my eyeshadow is off, which could be. But if it is, it's because of that reason. And I suck, you know. Keep that in mind. We always got to keep that in mind that I suck. I'm going to go back into Soul, which is the 
what I have in the actual crease. And I'm just going to put that back in there, make sure it's in there nice. Blend the two together. Just making sure everything is blended nicely, I guess you would say. I mean, I think it is. Looks nice to me. But whether that's the case or not, I don't know. And then I'm going to put Valentine on this inner portion of the eye. And it's a light, light pink. I don't want to see. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Heck, I'm doing. Sorry. I'm just trying to create something, you know, that looks halfway decent that I can go out in public, you know. And if I do that, like, I am amazed with myself for the rest of the day, you know. I mean, it is what it is. Where I'm not, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just not. But that's okay. I don't have to be. That's my, you know, my theory on it. All right. So on top of the um, Valentine, the light pink, 
um, in the inner portion of this, I'm going to put Giving, which is this shimmery pink. And first, I'm just going to pick it up without spraying the brush just to see. And tap it just in the inner corner here. I'm going to spray the brush. And I'm going to spray it with Max Fix Plus. And then pick up Giving again and see what happens. I just like to try it without it just to see. Okay, I don't have any fallout. No. So I don't have any fallout or anything with that shade, so that's cool. And I didn't while it was dry either. Keep it in mind because there's nothing there. So that's nice. And then for the bottom lash line, I think I'm going to go in... See, this is why I should lay the brushes out prior to doing this. That way I'm not like spending all day trying to find a brush. But that's what I do. Unfortunately, I don't know why I do that, but I do. Maybe I don't have a brush. Do I have two of the same brush? It, it could be possible. I do. Mm. At least I have two of the same brush. I guess that's a plus for me, right? Alright. Anyway, for the bottom lash line, I'm going to go in. I, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Like, now I'm just lost because I'm confused. Okay, I'm just going to use a real technique brush. And I'm going to take the shade Soul. And go under my lower lash line. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to spray the brush. 
and I'm actually going to go into the Bloom palette and use the highlighter that's in there that I used. I'm just going to place it in here. I really do think it's a pretty highlight. see that it's so pretty and then what's next I don't even know anymore oh I'm gonna take so I don't know what I was gonna do I'm gonna take the color pop uh, cream gel liner in exit mm. and I'm just gonna line the waterline I wouldn't suggest to pull one any on your eye. However, it's the only way I can do it. There's no powder in my lashes. And I'll go ahead and curl them. Maybe. I'm telling you, my eyes just don't want to go work with me today. I do like this eye look though. It's kind of it's pretty. I don't know if it necessarily goes with my outfit though. Usually I like to match things with my outfit. I'm not so sure this goes with it, but we're gonna pretend like it does because it's all I got. And I've barely been into this brown uh, mascara. I don't know why exactly, but I have been. But it's uh, by Benefit. They're real, and it's the brown. And I really. really I don't know why. I mean, I like black, but for some reason it's like a more softer look. Using the brown. But it is hard to find a good brown too. I'm gonna let you know. I have searched and searched. I found this one, and it's all right. It's good. But it ain't easy, let me tell you.
And my lashes are really doing good with that serum. By Grande Lash, I really do like that serum. Right. And my lashes are so long on the bottom, too. It's crazy. It's like, I don't... And they used to not be this long by no means. Trust me on it. Like, not even a little... Well, even my top lashes were never this long. And they were very, like, short and, like, not that, like, very... Sp I don't know. Like, now they look fuller. And everything, but before they didn't. Alright. Okay. Alright, I think that's it for the day. So, I truly do like the palette. It was easy to work with. Um, I came up with an okay look. Uh, the color selection is definitely there. It's intimidating to me. So, but I feel like if you're brave enough, <laughs> you know, you can definitely make a lot of, you know, good looks. And the colors, I mean, they're vibrant. The payoff is there. There was no real kick up uh or pick up or whatever the hell it is on the pan that you know comes up there wasn't that much of it uh there was no fallout at all i have nothing um i feel like the colors are a nice selection i mean overall i like the palette um is it something i could wear every day no, it's not this palette. I'm not going to go, oh, I want to wear it again. Oh, I want to wear it, you know. But I'm more neutral than that. I mean, I love color. Don't get me wrong. I do. But I got to be in the mood. You know what I mean? Like, it's not going to be an every, everyday thing. But, I mean, I feel like it's definitely one that I like. It's definitely one I will grab for. Just not every day, so to say. But I did enjoy playing with it. I'm going to, you know, enjoy playing with it more. And I, you know, I let me know if, what you guys think. Did you get it? Are you thinking about getting it? Uh, let me know in the comments. And, um, oh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell. Come on. Come and talk. I, you know, I love to talk about stuff. Uh, let me know what you'd like me to try next. Uh... Might as well spend my money and see firsthand how it works and how it don't work and that sort of stuff. And if it's worth you spending your money. But uh, I really did enjoy it. And it, I think it turned out okay for someone with no experience. So I uh, hope you all have a great day. I hope it stops raining here. Um, and I will see you very shortly because I should be getting the Jeffree Star and I'm going to do an unboxing. So I can't wait to see what's in it. Like I am so, so excited. Um, but have a good one. Bye.